it's certainly been one hell of a day. What's going on everybody? Coming back to you guys again with another video and this is going to be one that I wasn't really expecting to make uh, right off the bat and this soon really. Uh, and uh, I apologize if I'm a little scatterbrained and I'm gonna try to actually not to cut, edit, or do any sort of um, yeah, editing to this at all. I kinda just wanna speak from the heart to you guys, so bear with me. Uh, I did just have a pretty big thing happen today. Um, as you will see from the title of this video, I was in a bike accident, uh, bike crash collision this morning, and um, thankfully, I'm alive, I'm here. I'm, uh, I could, things could have been a lot worse and I'll go into it in another video, but essentially I was going down uh, uh, on the hill that I train on um, every morning, um, or every other morning usually, uh, I was going down going about 30 miles an hour, 35 miles an hour in the drops and a uh, person was actually uh, going up as I was coming down and was making a U-turn, therefore blocking the entire road uh, and essentially I looked up at the right right time and um, I mean but then again there was nowhere for me to go slam on my brakes so I managed to slow down to where I'd estimate to be about 15 to 20 miles an hour and just went straight into the car made a dent I put it right there you guys can check it out and see uh, here's some footage actually from uh, the morning I was actually still in shock from when I actually recorded it so bear with me all right everybody so it is um Kind of a bittersweet moment, but I just got hit by a car. Um, you guys can see right here, my arm and everything is all messed up. So basically what happened is, uh, I don't know if you guys can even hear my voice at the wind right now, but I was coming down this hill, I'm training on this every morning, and I was coming down and I was in the drops and somebody right here was deciding to make a U-turn in the middle of the road and they didn't see me and I slammed on my brakes, toppled over the car and yeah, so my arm, everything is bruised up. Uh, thankfully, I'm okay. I'm just still in shock right now, to be honest. But um, that was one of the, uh, probably the worst crash I've ever had on my bike. And you guys will see right now. Uh, I think I have a bent rim. I don't know. Like, I think I'm okay. I made impact with my shoulder into the car. Went over the car and just made a huge dent in it. But I, I, I think I may have broken my finger. I don't even know. I'm just gonna go to the doctor right now and see what happens. So, yeah. So that's that, guys. Uh, I'm not gonna really ramble on too much more about it. Uh, probably in a separate video, but I just wanted to kind of post this and uh, let you guys know I'm okay and everything so the other thing too is uh, I've been uh, really just I mean the main whole point of this video is, is just the fact that uh, actually I posted the 50,000 calorie challenge and I posted it I would say about uh, it's been this is the second day now that it's been up and the first day I literally had to just turn off comments just because or not turn off comments But turn off the sound of my computer turn off my email just because I was getting so many comments and uh, I've been getting a lot of feedback to it a lot of feedback on it and uh, <laughs> been getting a lot of feedback and uh, it's been a lot of honestly a lot of negative feedback and feedback that uh, I really um, you know I definitely had to think about a lot and normally I don't really take comments to heart but a lot of them were um, very disappointing to see to read and uh, you know a huge thing with with me with all this is that um, you know I'm I'm putting my life out there for you guys I'm putting um, essentially a part of my life but then again uh, I think a big thing with most of most people really is that they um, they see uh, videos of a person's life and they therefore generalize that person's life to be all about that particular thing for example a guy doing food challenges and uh, spending a day doing or in this case 50 hours of nothing but eating uh, well kind of nothing but eating it because I did do some other stuff but uh, they then generalized that person uh, to be in this case or what people were calling me is a binge eater or somebody that does nothing but binge on food at the end of the day they're gonna have their own opinions but as I was saying earlier to somebody who's asking me about it opinions really are like assholes everybody's got one 
so it's uh you know it's it's that saying is it's used a lot but it's true at the end of the day um i feel like uh this is something that um people have a right to say whatever they want to say um but then again i was thinking about it a lot too and i think that it's um this is something that long term i'm 22 years old 22 years old and i'm doing something that is extreme very very extreme and a lot of people uh have a right to say obviously like i was just saying earlier they have a right to say what they're they're gonna say and think what they want to think but is it really sustainable long term am i really going to do something like this or keep doing these types of challenges and um, putting my body through this and and just you know i no at the end of the day no i'm not i there's going to be a point where all of this ends whether uh, that's today, whether it's uh, tomorrow, whether that's next month, whether it's next week, I don't know. Uh, for right now, I'm definitely putting on hold. I'm, I'm saying I'm done. Uh, I had a, a point last week and uh, I was not gonna really reveal this until a later date, but uh, I'm currently in a, uh, in a an area of, uh, of self-experimentation, let's put it that way. Um, Right now, I feel like I am at probably one of my lean, leaner points of my life, but then again, I'm actually probably in the best shape of my life. Uh, one thing that really bothered me was the uh, the frequency of comments that were comparing me back to uh, when I was at my worst with anorexia, when I was actually physically unable to get up a flight of stairs without getting winded. Or, um, Granted, I was really lean, but there's a difference between being lean and malnourished and unhealthy and sick versus lean performing in a sport which again i ride bikes i'm you know you're not going to have a ton of muscle mass on you people saw that number when i weighed in on the scale and they're like oh my goodness he's he's in the he's 147 pounds and people harp so much about what the scale says and it's it's absurd that's why i tell people you cannot rely on the scale you can't rely on a scale at all for anything and um granted my response to that weight too was the fact that I was severely, I was really, really dehydrated and depleted when I shot the beginning of the video. I had just done a four, three and a half hour, I think it was like four hour ride. So that's pretty much the, the reasoning for that. I'm in a completely different state of mind now, knowing what I know versus back then. That's the whole thing with, with uh, you know, eating disorders everybody and that's not what this video is about it's not what it's meant to be about at the end of the day what you have to realize and what you have to think about truly is how much your quality of life is affected by what you're doing if i wasn't happy if i wasn't doing this having fun but that's the reason for the the self-experiment really is i had a period of time after that was filmed the 50,000 calorie challenge and where I just shut off my camera and I told a lot of you that tune into my live streams this I shut off my camera and I didn't do anything after you know after you know, I would say for probably about a day or two I literally just listen to my body and what my body's telling me right now is that I'm hungry both mentally and physically and uh, I won't say that I went into like an overeating phase, but I went into a phase where I was just like, I, you know, I wanted food. And it's really strange after you do all that massive, uh, you know, you have a massive intake of food and you're, you're like, holy crap, like I need food now. Like I'm still hungry. Granted, this was probably a few days afterwards, but um, the main point to it really, guys, and I want, again, I won't ramble on too much longer is I, um, I'm going to be going through this self-experimentation phase and I'm also going to be recovering from my crash as well. But um, I would really appreciate it if, um, you know, you, you know, those of you watching, I really hope you can keep an open mind to what I'm saying, what I'm putting out there, but I'm going to be gaining weight and I don't want people to, uh, ideally it's the internet, people are going to do it, but please think first before you make a comment about me and what you know what you see oh man your cheeks aren't looking as chiseled anymore that jawline it's fading it's like people like you know I look at like some it's like a good friend of mine Chelsea 
Chelsea Bliss, Brian Turner, uh, John Glaude, all of those people. Um, I mean, I look at some of the comments that people make and for the most part, they're pretty positive. But then again, I see a lot of negativity that exists and it's, what can you do? What can you do? And, and speaking of them, it's like, go and look on any of their videos. Chelsea, for example, what's her highest view video? Her 10,000 calorie challenge. What's Brian's, one of Brian's highest few videos, one of his uh, high calorie challenge days too. At the end of the day, that's what the whole YouTube audience, the YouTube fitness audience wants to see. They, you guys, whoever I'm speaking to, want to see a lot of food. And it's all about food, really. I mean, that's what everybody goes to these channels for, and my channel, I mean, that's cool, but my goal is to make all of this what I do about multiple different things and that's what I'm going through right now and um, I again wasn't going to reveal it until a later date but um, yeah I'm, I'm uh, at a point really where I feel like I needed to do what's best for me and I should have really been doing that ideally all along so um, other than that not too much else to say I'm okay guys uh, again it's you know it's just going to be a be a tough road from here but i'm alive and uh it could have been a lot a lot worse so thanks for tuning into the video um i try not to be negative or anything right now or sound negative but shit happens right <laughs> so uh i will be back with another video soon uh gonna be putting up a vlog uh later on um you know whenever things kind of die down so thanks for watching the video Follow my social media if you haven't already. Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. You know the drill. Stay tuned for the next video, guys. And please, go ride a bike, but be safe. See you guys. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000! What, 9,000? Uh